Hello everyone. Let's do a pour along for the set that ruins my day. We're going to start off with having some white pigment paste on my thumb, which then got on the glitter case. And so I had to clean that up. Everything's going great. Now this looks like a really great color. Uh, I thought that I would just put it in a little bit of white milky and I would get like a kind of nice milky pink thing, purpley thing, but instead started to go a little, a little fleshy. So I was like, okay, you know, we're tending towards like the orange and pink right now. Let's switch to this color shifting one. That'll be great. If you hear a cat, it's because both of them are trying to snuggle me right now. Uh, and as I'm mixing that in, I'm realizing that I'm not really getting much of the shimmer. And also, the tent was so hot when this was being poured. It was like at least 85 degrees. So the resin's getting really thick. So I put in, I think, more of the original one, and then it just started to turn more brown and fleshy, and I am desperately trying to think of how I'm going to save this. I, I now Lauren is looking back at past Lauren, who is just being like, "What? What do I do with this?" And I like how it was like, "Ah, oh, put more purple in. That'll work, right?" I was like, "No, it's not working." So I put in my favorite color shift, which is white based, as I was hoping to lighten it up to like a pinky thing, which was my original plan. Uh, this one shifts between, I think, orange, yellow, pink, and blue. But all, oh yeah, I was hoping the blue would edge it more towards the purple. But unfortunately, it's just becoming blue shimmery flesh. Which is just disappointing. <laughs> so I decided that this was the best that I was going to get, and I gave up on it. But I did know that I also wanted other colors in this because, God forbid, I make a set with just a blob of that awful flesh in there. So I'm going to mix up a very pigmented kind of pink. That's my new fluorescent pink ink. And as I mix it up, I realize that it is just way too close in tone to the flesh <laughs> color. I hate that color so much. <laughs> So I put a little bit more white in it. I used a, what's it called? A toothpick to grab a little bit of white pigment paste and put it in there. Added a little bit more resin to make a bit more of it. And at least I've created a pleasant pink color. But already watching this, I'm like, this, this stuff is so thick. So as my third color, for some reason, I was like, yeah, black hollow glitter suspended in clear is going to look great. Except it doesn't. It just looks dirty and like haphazard. And this is me just being like, fuck, man. <laughs> what am I going to do? Because this ain't it. So I just put that off to the side and frantically decided like, screw it. I'm just going to pour. Um, you can tell that I'm stressed because I was like dropping everything. And I think my gloves were like super sticky and covered in resin at this point. I think this was the last pour of the day. So I'm just going to put in a base of clear and I decided to pull up the color into the syringe instead of pouring it in the back. I think because it was so thick I was like, no, no, it won't, it won't like go down very well. I'll pull it up. It'll be great. But instead I just ended up fighting with it and getting bubbles in there just a ton of times. So I'm going to put that off to the side for a moment because first we must make these luxurious pink swirls. This was just such a desperate attempt <laughs> to get something going. I usually use a toothpick with my swirls, so I was trying it on this kind of larger stick to see how that went. And, you know, I haven't really done a post-mortem on how that technique worked. I really need to go back and look at these. Um, oh, I think they actually got bought already and are already gone because I got rid of them as fast as I could. Um... I knew that this flesh just couldn't go in with the pink on its own. It was just going to be the weirdest and yet most boring color combination I could put in a set of dice. So I had someone ask me if you could dip a syringe in ink and what would happen. And instinctively, I knew that most of the ink would go around the like neck of the syringe. But I was like, you know, maybe enough will get pushed out in front of the resin that I'm injecting, maybe, hey, we might as well test it on this set. It's already going to be super ugly. Uh, but then I ran out of the flesh color and had to like desperately come back and try and get more in the syringe because there's nothing in the D20 right now. And I'm definitely not going to have enough of the flesh to fill it up. 
So fill it up with a bit more clear resin. I can just tell how thick this is. Poor past Lauren was not having a good time making this set. Let me tell you, lots of layers to desperately try and fill this D20. Luckily, um, all the other ones are full enough. I don't know why I needed to touch that one <laughs> just to be like, you're there. You're good. But hey, I think I finally got enough in. I am going to fill up the rest now. And then I think it was so hot that either my camera just died or it overheated because here's where it stops. <laughs> 